chair is so creaky. Hey everyone, it's Colette. Welcome or welcome back. Today is an art supply tour of all of my art supplies I've gotten throughout the years. So I thought it would be fun to start 2024, um, I don't know, with an art supply tour. First off are my Copic markers. When I was younger, I wanted these so bad. And the reason I got a set was because on Amazon, they were on sale. Because these markers are normally eight bucks to 10 bucks per marker, per marker. And it, that's that's insane. And like, honestly, they're not worth that much. Um, You don't know until you try them. But on Amazon, they were only like $3 per marker. So the set was like $250. <laughs> I like used all my money when I was younger to buy this set. But um, they're pretty good markers. I mean, they're refillable, but there's also like cheaper markers that you can refill too. Next up are more markers. What a surprise. These are Ohuhu markers. <laughs> it's funny to say, Ohuhu. They're like Copic markers. They're also alcohol-based. Um, when I say alcohol-based, I mean like, they're not like Crayola markers. They're not water-based. They don't like tear up your paper. They're just really smooth and really nice. They blend colors really well for gradients and stuff or for shading. But they did just come out with refills. Um, so these are practically like Copic markers. They're a little bit cheaper, like they feel a little cheaper, but honestly they work pretty similar. Um, and I also have another Ohuhu set. This is a skin tone set. More markers, what a surprise. These are my Artix acrylic brush markers. And they, they're like acrylic paint, but in a marker. And they're super opaque, they're super great, I love them. Next up are Posca pens. They come in a lot of different sizes, like this is a smaller size and this is a bigger size and they have a huge size, it's like this. This exploded though, so be careful when you use these big ones. Next is my Microns and some other fine liners that I use. I use these when I'm outlining a drawing. I don't have just those, I have more. Okay, so this is an Ohuhu fine line drawing pen. These are even better than Microns and they're cheaper. If you go on Amazon or the Ohuhu website, these will come up. They work really well. Okay, um, I also have this Jelly Roll white pen. It is great for highlights. Um, I have a lot of like mechanical pencils that are just like, I don't know, the Vic brand. Um, just a lot of them. <laughs> I got like this massive set a little while ago. And then I also have pencil extenders. So when you're using colored pencils, um, I do realize it's not tiny, but let's say if it was really small, you can use this and it like makes it easier to draw with. Um, they're really useful. So Prismacolor Cold Erase Pencils. These are erasable colored pencils. They're great for like just sketching quickly. Next up, I have Karan dash how do you pronounce these but prismacolors are so much better these are like the copic markers of the colored pencil world next up i have arteza colored pencils these are the best colored pencils they are kind of they have like wax in them and it makes it really easy to blend they're not that expensive this set was expensive because it's, it's honestly too big um but they're really great for blending. I've used them to make my hyperrealism art. I'll put that on the screen right here. Um, they're really great. Do you want to wave at the camera? Put your hand under here and wave. <laughs> Doggy. Say hi. <laughs> she says hi. This is my big bag of personal too. So many. Doggy. <laughs> Why do you have so many Prisma colors? Um, I have just Crayola colored pencils. I have these water-based, they're like watercolor markers basically. Um, they're great for calligraphy and lettering and stuff. Apple pencil tips because I love digital art. I have Bristol paper for hyperrealism colored pencil drawings. I have a bunch of random sketchbooks. I have a, um, I forget what this is called, Moleskine sketchbook. For my sketchbook, I use a mixed media Canson sketchbook. No, this isn't Canson, but it's really similar. This is Strathmore, yeah. I have a black mixed media paper. I personally don't think that the pencils show up very well on it. Uh, I think I have a video reviewing these a couple years ago, but these are Artix alcohol-based markers. 
They're kind of like Ahuhu markers and Copic markers. I can't say that they're that amazing though. Clay that is not organized and I have a lot more than this. I have more paper. This paper was a 500 piece. I got it like five years ago and there's only four pages left. So I've used a lot of this paper. I also have watercolor paper, more watercolor paper and marker paper from this like art subscription box. Spray paint. I tried to spray paint my boots bright purple. <laughs> um, it did not work, but it was worth, worth a try. I have this like ink set that's great for writing and inking. Um, also from Amazon. I have these watercolor pads. They're so cool. It's like a watercolor sheet of paper and if you put water on it, then the color lifts. It does get all over your hands, but it's super cool and it's really easy to like travel with them uh, compared to like a watercolor set. I have Kimi Jelly Gouache. This is also a great paint set. I love my Kimi Jelly Gouache, but it does dry really easily. So you just have to put water and let it sit for a couple hours and then they're reactivated. I have these watercolors that I got. They're just like little watercolor tubes. I have, can you just yawn? Yeah. <laughs> I'm bored here. I'm trying to become it. This watercolor set I've had for, <laughs> did you yawn again? Yes. This watercolor set I've had for such a long time. This is a graphite sketch set. Also have a charcoal pencil set. This isn't Prismacolor, but just all my charcoal stuff. I have these mica pigments that are for making my handmade watercolors. So this is what my desk looks like right now. <laughs> this is hers. And then here I have like my paint organizer and I have some acrylic paints, some paints that my aunt got me, oil paints, acrylic professional paints that I don't use because I'm scared to use them and I can't open them, uh, brushes, a random pair of scissors, more oil paints. And then down here I have some of the watercolors that I'm making and it's like tree logs with watercolors inside of them. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed listening to me ramble about all my random art supplies. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> it's not funny. Why are you doing that?